Ah, good afternoon. So I'm here with my Umrex SA10 and then we have a bit of an outdoor shooting review. Uh, it's really gusty today. See my flag down the bottom of the range, it's blowing the horizontal. So this is a, a blowback pistol. It's, there goes my uh, cans have been blown over, my pyramid I use for shooting, so I'm not going to reset that. So basically, you've got a blowback, yeah, it's both uh, single and double action. So this is set in single, so you'll see the actual, see the hammer go like that, okay, and also it's double action as well. Nice and smooth. It uses the uh, similar magazine to the dual action Glock 17. And uh, this has got a much smoother trigger, so I don't know what they did with the Glock 17 trigger, but the actual single action trigger on this is really, really nice. Very light. So you'll see there's three magazines there. There's also a, a fourth magazine that's for BBs. These are all pellet magazines. They've got uh, inserts, alloy inserts. So all you do is simply pull one out, yeah, pop it in there like so. Okay, and then it rotates like that. It's like a little spring latch there. So as you pull the trigger, it rotates it, and then the first part of the pull and the second part of the pull fires off. Okay, so basically this is how it works. You've got CO2 in there, pop that in like that, and you cut the slide, or you can fire it double action. So we'll cut the slide. Now the only thing I'm not happy about with this pistol, everything else is really nice. Even the, even the actual fixed sights are really very good. Yeah, very good. Is the safety. You have to push the safety forward. And that turns the safety on. Yeah, I'd much rather them have it the other way around, so you can flick it off with your, with your thumb before you take the shot. So yeah, you have to put it back to turn the safety off. Okay, so forwards on, uh, rearwards off. Yeah, don't like that at all. They should have done it the other way around. It'd be much more fluid. You take it, you go up to the aim, and then you can push it forward. Yeah, and take the safety off. Um, we've got an adapter fitted here from the JS Rams bottom, uh, so you can fit a. Uh, half inch UNF so you can fit a silencer on there which I've got in my pocket. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take uh, eight shots at the 10 yard target freestanding. I've got a 12 and a half metre target, a uh, terrorist chap, I'm going to have uh, eight shots at him. And then the other eight shots left uh, will be the cans at six, uh, six cans and the two at uh, 12 and a half and two at 15 metres uh, so hit them. But that's just eight shots. Um, the wind keeps blowing them over, it's quite gusty so I'm going to have to reset them. But we'll take the um, the eight shots at the the two paper targets first and then I might have to pause the video and come back and do the actual can shoot because every time I set them up the wind's blowing them over. Okay, so we've got eight shots in there now. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take four shots at the 10 yard target without the uh, silencer and then I'm going to fit the silencer and take the next four shots, okay? And you should be able to notice the difference. It does make quite a difference with this pistol. Um, it, this is a, a, a swift stumpy by the way. Um, all in piece, the, the new Swift, um, uh, Swift Stumpy Mark IIs are actually modular, they can have three, three sections so you can shorten it. But this is uh, one of my first uh, silencers and it works very well. Um, it does actually come just above the actual, just uh, above the top of the foresight, but it does actually aim particularly well. So we should be able to get a, a reasonably good group with the shots, okay? So here we go, we'll do the, the first, uh, yeah, cut the slide, we'll do the first freestanding, the target freestanding, in fact we'll do them all freestanding but uh, we'll video the, the blowback um, on the two paper targets first. So here we go. So uh, four shots at 10 yards. So you should be able to see the blowback. You might have to aim just below the centre. This is a fresh steel too. <laughs> even, the, even the bins are being blown by this wind. It's quite difficult to take the shots, pop the safety on it. So we're going to take the actual protective cover off the uh, adapter, like so. We're using uh, RDS Superfields, by the way. These are um, 8.4 grain. Pop the silencer on. Like so. So we take four more shots and then we'll, um, we'll go to the paper target at 12 and a half metres. So here goes. Safety up again. Flip to the rear. Right. 
go. And we'll stop to go. Right, okay. Now the reason why to do that, because if you pull the trigger to there and let it go, you'll index the magazine. So that's why I ended up missing one. So I had to take, take the magazine out and just turn, turn the actual magazine round until the uh, pellet you want to shoot is in this position here. And then you can take the shot, it'll index it and fire it. Okay, so that's the first eight shots. Now we're going to move out to the 12 and a half meter and see how they shoot. This guy, that's it, blowing a gale. It's not particularly warm, it's about 8 degrees, but it feels a lot colder. That's my wheelie has just been blown by the wind. That's how strong this wind is today. I'm not sure how good these groupings are going to be in this wind. That's the empty magazine. So what I'll do, I'll go and bring those targets up. Okay. So we follow that action off. Put the magazine back in, pop the safety on, and we'll go and uh, bring those targets up so we do. So it's so windy, I've just put those cans up and the wind just blown down here. So what we've got here at 10 yards, and take it into account, we are getting a this is very good wind here. Yeah. Um, you've got two, three, four, five, six, and two at the top. So this is at 10 yards. So we've got six, six here <laughs> and two up here. That is really good, considering that's, that's freestanding at 10 yards. Okay, pop that under the pellet again. And this is the bad guy here. Now I know two missed the target because I didn't hit them impact, so we had six. So we've got one there, two, three, four, five. Uh, I, think I can't see the, the sixth one. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's right, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. And two missed. But I think the wind was affecting about 12 and a half metres. It was blowing it quite to one side. And I might have been moving around a bit as well. Obviously quite difficult to keep still. So yeah, that's pretty good. I think on a calmer day it would do better. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and uh, put those cans back up and see if we can actually get uh, eight shots at the cans. In fact, they've all been blown over, all, all eight now. And hopefully we'll, uh, we'll try and uh, get a shot at them. In fact, we'll, we'll pause this video, we'll come back to this and we'll go and reset them. Okay, be back soon. Take care. Ah, good afternoon. So I'm back with my Umarex SA10. I've got some Superfield RWSs. They're uh, 4.52 millimeter head and 8.4 grain. I've got uh, eight cans up there. I've got six at 12 and a half meters and two at 15 meters. I'm going to try and knock them over uh, freestanding and see if we can get them. So here goes. So I'm going to zoom in on the cans. It's really gusty today, so hopefully we can get them before the wind blows them over. Uh, roughly where nowhere to aim. Free standing here goes. Crossing. 
Yeah. So yeah, it's just too windy for the 15 metres. I'm not sure exactly where they were hitting. Uh, I didn't exactly where to aim. I was aiming sort of like pretty uh, more or less central. It's just got the magazine. You see the magazine's empty. Fire the action off. So yeah, that's the uh, the SA10 using an RWS suit fields. Um, shoots really well actually. Um, sights are really good. Uh, I've put some tape on the uh, the fore sight. Uh, glued some uh, yellow uh, electrical tape on to brighten it up, and it works really well. Uh, shoots nice and straight. I shoot with like one of my eyes, my left eye slightly shook because I'm a right-handed shooter, and all the all the pistols there, two pistols I have seem to shoot. Just about everyone knows, okay. So yeah, the silencer works very well. The Swift Stumpy uh, it does make a quite a, quite a difference. Keeps it quieter when you're shooting it. A bit of backyard plinking. Um, it's got a takedown lever. Obviously, you know you can take it down. You see one of the videos. You shoot it. The only thing I don't like about it is the safety. Uh, the safety works fine. But what's annoying is um, I'd rather be able to flick the safety off off before I take the shot. That actually puts the safety on, so you've got to pull it back to take it off. So you've got to take, use it another hand instead of just doing that. So that's the only thing I wish Oom Rex had got right. Uh, magazine works really well. It's very much like the uh, Glock 17 dual ammo. Um, in fact, it works the same way. What is interesting is that the Glock uh, 17 dual ammo is the actual first part of the trigger pull. If I just put it into single action. Uh, where we pull it back and that indexes the magazine is very good but the second part where the actual uh, trigger fires the actual uh, hammer on the Glock 70 is actually fairly heavy out the box from new it does improve mine has actually improved quite a lot a bit of lubrication on all the the uh, lever does help okay? but this is obviously out the box this is great so if you want an affordable uh, blowback pistol uh, it's got a rifle barrel even though the box does say it's still bore it has got some form of rifling in there, not to the same sort of level as um, Umrex's higher end things like the uh, the CP88 and uh, the 686 and 92FS, uh, uh, but it is rifled and it is accurate. In fact, I shall show you some of the tar targets pistol uh, targets I took earlier when it was less, when it was more calmer, and show you exactly how accurate it is actually uh, with a, with a decent pellet. Okay, so yeah, really nice. I do hope you like that little video. Uh, if you're not keen on the bling, you could actually feel strip it, um, take the slide off obviously, and you could actually mask around the whole lot and you could spray it if you wanted to, you know, get rid of the bling. But yeah, it's alright, it's quite nice, I quite like a, bit, a little bit of bling, yeah. Um, it shoots well, it's got a nice balance with the, obviously the magazine's very hefty, so when that's fitted, it's got a lovely balance to it, sits nicely in the hand, yeah. Um, it's got a nice little, there's a little uh, spring-loaded plunger here. Uh, I think it's on just yeah, just those spring loaded plunges inside there, which pushes against that bit on the back of the magazine, so it actually pops the magazine out. Yeah, okay, not not particularly throws it out, but it just pop it out. Okay, um, yeah, really nice. And for like a hundred, about 110 in UK, uh, yeah, it's it's a it's very affordable, and I, I would recommend sticking to pellets on this because obviously because of the rifle and barrel, you can you can use BBs. There is a BB magazine that comes with it. It's just a pure black plastic one. Um, but if you're going to fire steel BBs down this, then um, you're probably going to wear out the rifling. Um, you could use lead BBs. Yep, yeah, I don't see that being a problem. Uh, so I hope you like that little video. Uh, it said it's affordable. It's good fun, and you'll see. You should see. You see the video um, from the, the paper target shoot. You'll see the blowback action as well. So hope you like that little video. Thanks for watching. Ah, good evening. So this is the assessment of the actual targets I did today with the uh, the SA10 with the uh, Swiss Stumpy moderator fitted. So earlier on, I chronographed the uh, pistol. I took 24 shots at this can at 12 and a half meters, and the actual results were pretty good. Uh, it averaged uh, 2.04 foot-pounds energy over the 24 shots, and. Um, Interesting, the actual, even though it says the actual spread was 38, if you take away the first two shots, which obviously were high because of the fresh CO2, it actually averaged uh, only 12, 12 FPS, yeah, over the 22 shots, which is very good. Okay, um, this can was taken at 12 and a half metres, uh, freestanding, so you can see that's pretty, that was, uh, that was uh, freestanding light, so that's pretty good. Yeah, see how it's actually penetrated, so the accuracy is pretty good. Um, after that, I then moved to a uh, semi-rested target, another 24 shots, uh, see the, the first uh, magazine, uh, which is magazine number 5, 
which would have been uh, from 32 to 40. Uh, so rested was very good. Central, yeah, all eight shots. And then next few shots, it started to drop off. CO2 dropped off. I was shooting it at a normal pace there. I was doing 15 second intervals there, giving the CO2 time to recover. So that's probably why the actual spread was quite low after the first two shots. Um, super field pellets we're using. These are 8.4 grain. And these are the 4.52 millimeter head. Okay, so that's really good. So it shows it's actually accurate with the actual fixed sights. Okay, and then onto the video itself, the video clips. Now, this was taken uh, freestanding eight shots at 10 yards. Um, you've got five there, you've got one there, one there, and one down here. That's the eight shots. I was moving around um, a little bit, and also it was very windy, very gusty outside. In fact, most of the, the tins were being blown over. And then I did this 12 and a half meter shoot uh, I know two pellets missed completely, um, but there's one shot there, one shot there, and then got one, two, three, four. So okay, that's uh, six shots on the target. But that's uh, 12 and a half meters freestanding in in strong winds, so that's pretty good. Um, yeah, you've got your metal magazines here, inserts, these are for pellets, and then you've got your plastic one there, which is actually for BBs. But because it's got a rifle barrel, I certainly I wouldn't recommend uh, shooting uh, steel BBs through it. You could probably get away with using lead BBs if you wanted to. Yeah, so it's a really nice pistol, uh, very affordable. Um, the moderator makes quite a bit of difference. You know when you fit that if you're backyard uh, plinking, definitely worth doing. You can get the adapters from uh, JS Ram sort of. They're about uh, five uh, five uh, UK. So much they cost. Um, the only thing I'm, I'm not over keen with is the safety because you have to fl flick it backwards to turn the safety off. But I've mentioned that before in other videos. But uh, yeah, uh, very affordable. It's about 100, 110 in UK, the SA, SA 10. So uh, yeah, highly recommended. If you're after a cheap blowback pellet shooter, definitely recommended. Thanks for watching.